سو علام اقبال سے تو شاہی ہے پرواز ہے کام تیرا تیرے سامنے آسماں اور بھی ہیں اینڈ دین ہی کنٹینیو سو سے قناعت نہ کر عالم رنگ و بو پر وٹ ایور سچویشن یو ان لائف مے بی سم ٹائمس یو ان اے گڈ سچویشن ایوری تھنگ سیمس گڈ ہی سیز ڈونٹ بی کنٹینٹ وتھ دا فلیورز اینڈ کلرز آف دس لائف دیٹ اے ہیومن بینگ شوڈ نیور بی کنٹینٹ وتھ اے سچویشن ہی نیور شوڈ کنٹینٹمنٹ از پوائزن فار اے ہیومن بینگ قناعت نہ کر عالم رنگ و بو پر چمن اور بھی آشیاں اور بھی ہیں even if you are living in a in a good life in a prosperous life and everything seems good around you remember chaman aur bhi aashiyan aur bhi hain there is a better garden somewhere there is a better nest somewhere there is more to get in life than that maybe you're living a good life but how about making other people's lives better for them that you could do things to make a garden for other people he says don't just be content with what you're li- in your life and your situation and then he says isi roz shab mein ulaj kar na reh ja don't just get lost in today don't get lost in your moment don't get lost in that don't look down too much and just keep on moving because the moment you start looking down and you forget where you were then you forget all the blessings that Allah has blessed you with he says ke tere zaman aur makan aur bhi hain because your existence and your t- the time for your pleasure and enjoyment is something else as well so the first theme he pushes us to struggle and keep on moving forward and progressing in the eyes of allah second thing in this struggle he mentions the fact that in this struggle towards allah in this struggle towards allah the second line he says abi ishq ke imtiha aur bhi hai definitely when a person is struggling to get closer to allah or in his in life and he's moving in life there's going to be tests he's going to go through difficulties he says yes you went through one test there's going to be another test allah says alif lam mim ahzib an nas an yutraku an yaqulu amanna wa hum la yaftanun he says is it possible that people can proclaim that they're muslims they believe in allah and they won't be tested while all the prophets before us were tested while the prophet sallam was tested over and over again yes today you go to a mother or father that lost one child and you know we cannot even imagine we cannot feel the pain of a parent a father or mother who had to bury their own child they had three children and one ch- i know of pa- i know a family parents that had three children and two of them passed away already and the third one is suffering terminal disease and when i met this family all i could say to them is remember i cannot sympathize i cannot feel the p- your pain in its truest form but remember the prophet sallallahu was a man who had seven children and he buried six of them with his own hands if you ever go to jannatul mala in makkah al mukarrama and you see the grave where khadija radiyallahu ta'ala anha is buried next to her grave is a small little grave of qasim radiyallahu ta'ala anhu imagine the emotions the prophet sallam was going through when he was burying his son when the prophet sallam was when ibrahim radiyallahu anhu passed away and the prophet sallam had him in his hand and he was he was also burying him he started to cry and someone said what is these tears o prophet of allah he said hada shauq al habib ila al habib this is these are the tears that are flowing down my eyes because i lost a beloved the prophet sallam said udi tu fillahi ma lam yudh ahad i have been i have been put through such difficulty that nobody in this world will ever be put such we put through such difficulties so my dear brothers and sisters allama iqbal is saying abi ishq ke imtiha aur bhi hain he then he says agar kho gaya ek nashe man to kya gham abhi agar kho gaya ek nashiman to kya gham if we have lost something in this life why are you worried why are you worried maqamat ahu fuqa aur bhi hain there's other moments where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, where will bring us closer and closer to him like then he mentions the fact that all the struggle that we're doing remember at the end of the day when we come on the day of judgment and we have struggled in its truest form and we've been through this difficulty then we will be among those who Allah has mentioned about us wujuhu yawma idhin naima there will be such, there will be some faces on the day of judgment when they see the results of their efforts of their patience of their tolerance their faces will be brimming with happiness and this word naima literally refers to a person who comes out of a struggle and then sees joy <laughs> 